What if I told you that you could build a full-on influencer without hiring anyone, without photo shoots, and without a single camera? With just one reference image, you can create a consistent AI influencer who changes outfits, travels the world, and even speaks on video. Today, I'll show you how to do it step-by-step step using the various tools inside OpenArt. To start off, we need to create our AI influencer. So if you're on the homepage on OpenArt, you can go to image and create image or on the side here, we can click on that. And I will point out that if you want to use yourself, then you just need an image of yourself. But if you want to create an AI influencer, the first thing you need to figure out is which is the best model to use. So if we go up to the model section here, we can switch to any one of the models. Personally, for me, I used Nano Banana to generate the image of my AI influencer. And I'll show you those steps in a second. You can use either Flux Context Pro or Max. Open Art Photo Realistic is a good one for realism. Ideogram, Imagine 3 and 4, along with Flux Crea, are all good for photorealistic images. Now, when it comes to prompting your AI influencer, I want you to always keep this formula in mind. Regardless of the model, whether it's an older model or a new one like Nano Banana, what I'm using now, the most important thing is structure. And the models that I just mentioned all work with natural language. With that being said, you don't have to write a novel, right? Since we're creating a person, I always like to start with photo and that will take care of our style. Now, if you want to do a 2D or 3D character, you would just put in 2D anime, 3D CGI, Pixar, for example. Pretty straightforward. Now for the subject, I like to state nationality. But if you generalize it and just put woman, you'll likely just get a random woman. And some models tend to have a bias towards a certain look. So I like to put fictitious names in there. And this is a little tip to get variation in faces. In terms of the action, it really doesn't matter what they're doing. We just need a good half body shot where the face is very clear. So I'm just going to put posing in front of the camera. For environment and lighting, you could state what each one is individually. For example, New York City at night. If you prompt like that, you're actually taking care of both, right? So unless you want to be very specific, it's good enough just to state the environment and automatically the image will adjust to those lighting conditions. In this case, I'm just going to put plain gray background because we're not too concerned about the environment and lighting at this point. Now that you have a basic prompt, you can do two things. You can click on enhance and we're going to generate four images just to see what we get. And while that generates, the other tip I have for you now is to, at this point, describe more specific things about your subject, like the hair, eye color, what she's wearing, although with this model, we can change what she's wearing really easily. Let's start with a long wavy brown hair, green eyes, and let's give her something like a choker collar. Here are the images with the basic prompt and yeah, they turned out pretty good, but we see a lot of the pictures have sort of a side profile almost. This one's actually very acceptable. In your prompt, what I would do is just add front view perspective and that will solve that issue. Here are the images where we gave just a bit more detail. So we said long wavy hair, green eyes with the choker collar. We didn't state what she's wearing or anything, so that's going to be totally random. But I'm pretty happy with the results here, and I actually like this image. That's kind of what I envisioned in my head. And if you notice, the face is pretty consistent because we gave our character a name already. Now for you doubters, I'm going to change the name again just to prove my point. Now this time I named her Penelope Lopez Sanchez. <laughs> you can't get more Latina than that. And I also use the auto enhance prompt feature. And you can see we have a different looking woman. Now the traits are very similar. And I also ran a few more images without the auto enhance. And you start to see the bias of the model. So even though I changed the name in this case, this person looks a lot like the first batch of images we looked at. 
So my advice to you is that if you start to see those biases and the names aren't working, try auto enhance, combine nationalities like Spanish, Filipino, Asian, American, or whatever the case may be, just so you can get some variety. However, if you're unsure about how you want your influencer to look, like you don't really know how to prompt for it, you can use three to four reference images and combine the likeness of people. So what I had done was I generated images with Nano Banana of all the Blackpink members. You see I have Jisoo here. Let's make it bigger. Did a couple images of her. We've got Lisa in her blonde hair. I used this one for Jenny. And then here's one of Rosé. And so what I ended up doing was that I would use the Omni reference and import the four images just like this right here. And as a result of doing this, I got several variations of my potential AI avatar. And the prompt I used was super simple. Combine the likeness of these four women and create one woman who is an influencer. If we look at the image, you see that it has touches of Rosé's hair. I would say it has a strong presence of Jenny, maybe a little Jisoo. And I think it mimicked more of Lisa's outfit, which was fine, but I was very happy with the results. Here's a few more examples. Now here you see a lot of Rosé's influence, especially in the hair. Here's more of a Lisa influence. So you can basically pick and choose, but it's really up to you. You can have variations. You can have one that's always consistent, but I ended up with this one. And the next step was to use this as the main reference image. And with this image, I ended up using the previous image with her with the sunglasses, put that into Omni reference, and I prompted for remove the sunglasses and change the perspective to front view. Now it doesn't have to be an exact front view, although I highly recommend it, but this would be good enough. Now I would take this reference image you see here and use that. And then you're free to create different scenarios, give them different outfits, put them in different locations. If you look at my prompt here, I have her walking down a runway at a fashion show. She's wearing a fancy outfit, yada, yada, yada. And from that one reference photo, I have her here in a pretty outlandish outfit. Obviously it's a fashion show. You see her face is consistent. The hair is fairly consistent. Again, you can change your hairstyle and color if you want. But using Nano Banana to do these iterative editing steps, it's so much easier to achieve not only consistency, but we can change background, location, lighting, perspective. There's just so much you can do now with this model. Here's another example of her just in a restaurant drinking some wine. And now this time she's doing a photo shoot outdoors in the city. And once again, this is just from one reference image. In these examples, you see that she's posing in front of some cars. And by the way, I've named her Blink because she's based off the girls from Blackpink. But one of the things you can now do is bring them to life and add some motion. So I took this image and sent it to image to video. You could simply click on the icon here and it will bring you there automatically. Which video model is really up to you? I recommend using Hilo O2, Cling 2.1, or C Dance 1.0. I find C Dance looks the most natural and it's pretty good with keeping the face consistent throughout. Hiluo is just as good as well. And Kling is good. I just find that if there's motion in their hands, especially, you're going to see it sort of distort every now and then. It may take a bit of experimentation. And your prompt could be super simple. You see here, I just put a woman is talking about the car behind her. Here's an example of Hailua O2. Looks very natural. Looks like she's talking about the car. And here is C Dance. And you'll notice she turns away from the camera. And when she turns back, her face is still consistent. I find with some of the other models, that as soon as it loses sight of the face, when that face comes back, it's no longer going to look the same. Seed Dance does this really well. And then here's an example of her in a swimsuit, uh, you know, uh, posing. <laughs> uh, anyway, where was I? You can see her movements look really natural. <laughs> I'm distracted. But even the water and the scenery behind her looks very believable. And notice the hands don't look distorted when she puts it upon her chest there. 
And once again, the prompt is super simple. Because you have an image, you don't have to describe the subject. The woman is doing a swimsuit photo shoot. She poses in various model poses in the water. The camera slowly arcs. Here's a variation of cling, and I find the movements look very natural. And in this case, it works really well because, you know, her hands aren't really showing it's underwater. So cling may work for you as well. And here's Hailuo O2. I really like how this one was captured, but if you really look at the hand movement, there is a little bit of deformities that most people wouldn't recognize, but you do have to keep note of those things. And probably after a few more generations, it would have looked a lot better. Okay, guys, I prolonged that section just for you. <laughs> now, in most cases, if you have a bunch of images and even some video, you're pretty much all set to do AI influencer stuff on TikTok, Instagram, whichever platform you choose. But if you want your AI influencer to be more of an AI avatar for talking head stuff, you can now do lip syncing with text-to-speech powered by Eleven Labs, or you can record your own voice. Check out this ride! Isn't it amazing? So which one of you will buy it for me? <laughs> so that's just a simple example of what you can do, and I'm going to show you how to do that. Now if we go to the left side of the panel, you'll see an icon for audio. We'll click on that, and this is where we can create some voices via text-to-speech. At the very top, you see we have a menu for various versions. V3 is still alpha, but it's the best option right now. It's very natural and expressive. On the right, you'll see all my generations, and I'm going to play a quick example for you. We're excited to share that we've updated the lip sync feature. Choose from four lip sync models, Open Art Lip Sync, Omni Human, Hydra, and Kling. And when it's finished generating, you can download it here. You can click on the three dots to recall the script that you use. You can just copy it by clicking on the icon here. Or there's some action buttons you can reuse script or use for lip sync, which we'll take a look at in a second. And then the various information here in terms of the model that was used, the voice, and the settings, which you will see down here. Under voice is where you can select various voices that are preset from Eleven Labs and you can choose any filter either by accent, gender, age, or use case. There's quite a bit of selection to choose from and we are looking at ways to integrate more voices. The settings are pretty straightforward. You see this little info icon. If you hover over those It'll give you a breakdown of what each setting does in this case for stability. So basically, if you want more emotion, bring this down. But I find 0.5 is pretty decent because we're able to use tags in the prompt. Similarity keeps it true to the original voice. But if you want some variance, you can just bring that down quite a bit. And then speed is basically the cadence. Are they slower and they take their time or do they speak very quickly? It may take some experimentation. In terms of prompting, it's actually pretty simple. You would type whatever it is you want your character to say, and then you can add tags with square brackets in terms of their emotion. So in this case, I have excited, and at the end, she giggles. And this was the example we previously looked at. Check out this ride. Isn't it amazing? So which one of you will buy it for me? <laughs> And then you can tag for other emotions. You see here, I put uninterested, scoffs, and annoyed. And the advice I have for you is to use very obvious emotions, like happy, sad, angry. You want to keep it pretty simple. You don't want to use elaborate words. It may or may not understand it. And once in a while, you'll find that it may say uninterested and then start speaking. So just keep in mind it is still an alpha. So let's have a listen to this example. What? I'm just here chilling. Can I help you with something? Ugh, leave me, human. So you can really hear him scoff and that annoyance in his voice, right? Now there's a few things you can do here. Like I said, you can download it directly. And then you can click on use for lip sync and you'll be automatically brought to the lip sync video feature, which we just release. You see the audio is here. We can preview it. We're excited to share that we've updated the lip sync feature. 
or the other thing you can do for your audio. Now you can record your own voice. If you recall in the intro, that was an AI avatar version of me and the audio I did directly within OpenArt. And the way this works is you click record. Depending on your browser, it may ask for permission. Obviously, you have to have a mic set up and then make sure this is checked on so that it remembers it next time and then click allow. You'll get this pop-up screen to create your voiceover and you simply just have to click on record. So let's do that. Well, hey now, big boy, how are you doing? <laughs> And before you confirm it, you can actually preview it. Well, hey now, big boy, how are you doing? <laughs> now, one thing I want to call out, it does say max one minute. However, the lip sync is only 30 seconds. So ideally, you should only record 30 seconds of your voiceover. Now, if you're not happy with it, you can click the delete icon and start again. Assuming you are, you just press confirm and you're good to go. Only thing that's lacking here, and I've kind of mentioned this to the team, it doesn't save it in your generations at the moment. So it may actually be good practice just to record it locally and then upload it. That being said, the ability to record your own voice is great. Coming back to here, if we click on history, you see that you could select from your past 11 labs generations. And I'm simply going to select this one. It's only seven seconds. And the way this works is that you can use an image or video. However, with images, you have three models to choose from. You can choose Open Art Lip Sync, Omni Human, or Hydra. If you want to do video, the only lip sync model we have right now is Kling, or you can use the previous version. And you would find that in the video tab here under audio. And then you can put your video here, enable this, upload your audio. I've covered this version in a previous video. I'll leave a link in the description below. It is an older model, but it works for video. Okay. So obviously you'd have to select an image. So we're going to click on this, click on history. I'm going to select this image and confirm it. We see the image here. We've already set up our audio and all that's left to do is click on create. In terms of the cost, it depends on the duration. So this one's only seven seconds. So it's about 120 credits. So just keep in mind, the longer it is, the more credits is going to be. In terms of what model to use, it may take some experimentation. So far from what I have seen, Open Art Lip Sync has the most natural movements in terms of the mouth and also the body movements. I do see, however, in some cases where the way the lips work in terms of accuracy of the words can be a little bit off at times. Hey there. My friends call me Blink, so I guess that means you can call me that too, since we're friends now. <laughs> OmniHuman works great for singing and non-humans. For regular dialogue, it's a bit exaggerated. And then we have Hydra, which is also good for singing. And it's pretty decent for like talking head AI avatars. And then once again, we have Kling for video to lip sync. What? I'm just here chilling. Can I help you with something? Ugh, leave me, human. Personally, I tend to gravitate to open art lip sync, not just because it's our own lip sync model, but as mentioned before, it just looks a lot more natural. Currently, you are limited to just one person or subject but we are working on multi-character dialogue, so stay tuned for that. And a little bit of a teaser, eventually we're going to have a dedicated area for AI avatars with an open art story, along with some other categories that has been highly requested. As you can see, you have all the tools that you need to create your own AI influencer within open art. And if you want to learn how to use Nano Banana and all of its other use cases, from object replacement to photo restoration, check out the full breakdown on the end card or in the description below. Until that next video, my friends, happy creating.